Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to retrieve a sequence from NCBI that is National Research Center for Biotechnology Information. So for that, first of all we will go, go to Google. As all of you know, NCBI is a open platform that can be used by anyone. So we will type NCBI. We will go to the home page of National Center for Biotechnology Information. This is the interface, how it looks when we enter this free database. So from NCBI, we can get any information, any sequence, be it nucleotide or protein of any organism, be it a microorganism, be it an animal or anything. We'll get all the information on this particular site. So from here, this drop down menu, you have to click. Since we are retrieving a nucleotide sequence, so we'll select the nucleotide from this drop down menu. Then we have to enter the name of an organism or any gene that we want to find out. Or if we have the accession number of any particular gene that we want to retrieve from the sequence, we have to write that. It is pertinent to know that this is case specific, that is, the Accession number that we'll insert has to be exactly same as it is submitted by the depositor. So for this, I have saved an accession number. So I'll just take that accession number and then we can insert it. So this is the accession number. I'll copy it. We'll go back to that. Then paste the accession number and click on the search to. It will take few seconds to find out the information. So here is the output. So it is a 16S rRNA ribosomal gene sequence of a bacteria called Tisarococcus flavus. So you can see this gives a complete information, a detailed information of about that organism. That means it tells you what the organism is, then what is this accession number is for. So this accession number is for the 16S rRNA gene. It also gives other information who submitted the sequence, like the authors who submitted the sequence, and if this paper is published, what is the title of that paper, then in which journal it has been published. Then it also shows it's a direct submission. It shows you the date when it was submitted and the laboratory from where it was submitted. And then it tells you that this is the accession. Locus tells you this is the accession number. Then this gene consists of 1396 nucleotide base pairs. It is a linear and BCT stands for bacterial. That is a, it is the gene of a bacteria and it was submitted on 8th August 2017. Then it says it is the, then there is another term that is version. So whenever we submit a sequence, we can, if we find it, there is something incorrect or if we update that sequence later on, then the versions are created. So this is the first version. So you can see after the accession number, it is written dot one. So this is the first time that sequence has been submitted. It has not been updated. So this is version number one. This is the only version of this sequence so we can come at the bottom and here you can see that there are some alphabets written so these are basically the dna nucleotide sequences we all know that nucleotide sequence consists of atgc so this is the nucleotide sequence so there are different methods by which we can copy these sequences so the f but the most easiest one we can select it from here itself copy and then paste or we can do one thing we can go here we can click on this faster and then wait for the result to come then we'll get a sequence in the FASTA format. So what is FASTA format? It is the same sequence that we saw previously. The only difference is it is preceded by a greater than symbol. So it's very easy. You can copy this sequence. And then you can paste this sequence in a note. 
notepad. So I'll just open a new notepad and we'll paste the sequence on control V. So here you can see I've got the sequence of 16 as RRNA gene of Tisarococcus flavus. I'll save this. I'll save it on the desktop. It is the .txt file and I'll name it Tisara Caucus. Save it on the desktop and it's saved. So it is very easy how we can retrieve a sequence from any data bank. Apart from this, one more thing that I would like to say that this is a faster format which is preceded by a greater than symbol. You can also use the GenBank information. GenBank is sequence plus all the other information that we saw initially. So GenBank is a detailed information whereas FASTA is a single information. So this is how we can copy any gene sequence from NCBI and then we can use it for for any research purposes. Thank you.